All right, all you El Caparinos. Welcome to some Titan 4 beta gameplay. The game doesn't come out until March 11th, so there's still a couple of weeks to go. And if you, you're pretty much craving some um, some Titanfall like I am, then I'm going to keep you guys covered over the next two weeks. I've got about three or four or five gameplays that I want to do a commentary over like this one. Um, just to show you guys off the game. So basically there's there's three there was three game types in the beta in case you didn't uh, didn't get to check it down here we go just killing some grunts there as well. Pretty much just this this game, I don't know, I think this was a little bit like I think I'm level thirteen during this, so I'm still getting used to the sort of controls and look at this. Just fucking get owned, son. Um, uh, the, the kills may look a bit laggy as well, that's because if you, if you're an Australian, you obviously know that we had to play on the Southeast Asia servers for, for the Titanfall beta, because there aren't actually any Australian servers out yet. Now, Microsoft and, uh, Respawn Entertainment have announced and said that there are data centers in Sydney and Melbourne, uh, that are being set up, and hopefully they're going to be ready for the launch of Titanfall, because, um, it's pretty gay playing on 187 ping. And uh, the, the servers have already been built, so I don't know why they haven't been released yet and going to be in use. They might, they probably will be, so... But, um, then again, just see me doing this now. Here I am... Sort of like the, the things, the points contested, so I'm sort of just looking around, like trying to find a guy. I thought this guy was him, but it's obviously not. And then, see this guy in the stealth, stealth mode. Now, basically, um... Basically, you've got, you've got, um... Like special ability. So in the beta you had a special ability where you could either... And I try to kick this guy but I get fucking owned. And then just right, right here I use the uh, the burn card to respawn. And look where, it, look where it spawns me. It spawns me right behind him which is a perfect spot. That's why he's sort of overpowered. And then it like results in me getting a, a bit of a double kill here. And then I actually cap the point. So a bit of an overpowered burn, burn card there. But burn cards only last one round so they're not too overpowered. I mean you get to choose them after every single death. And then my kick there works. Finally a bit laggy, but that's because of the uh, Southeast Asia servers, obviously. But your burn cards, you get to choose three. You get a whole pack of them. You unlock them through challenges and shit. And then before each game, you pretty much get to um, choose three that you put in your loadout. And then you get to choose them before um, each life. You get to choose one per life. Like now, see, so like, well, it's like I can choose another one. But I've got, like, a Titan, Titan one selected here. Uh, which... I don't know, like, whether that's going to be good use for me, considering I've already brought in my Titan. Haven't actually tested all the burn cards out yet to see if they actually work or not. But, uh, like, like where they work, whether you bring... If, you, if I use this one now, is that going to work for my Titan now? But, I don't know, that's just, like, the more you play, the more we'll find out. And here I get owned by this guy. He uses the old... I use the stairs and it sort of fucks me over. You really want to use the park order your advantage in this game, you know? That's how you're going to dominate the, the enemy here. Obviously, now back to back back, back to uh, the the abilities you get. So basically, you get on the beta you got to choose between stim, which is like you fucking like you run faster for like a, uh, about five or six seconds. I've got it here. I don't really use it that that much for some reason. Actually, I'm like re-watching this and I'm like fuck, why don't I use that more? Uh, but I guess that's just something you're gonna have to get used to. I mean, like I only like played this game for probably about ten hours during the beta. I wanted to play a bit more than that, but, like, the weekend this came out, fucking R RL friends made me, like, go to, like, like, Byron Bay, which, if you're in America, it's, like, a holiday destination ship for the weekend, and I was actually really cut, because I was like, this game's just come out, I really want to play this, this beta, so I didn't get to play it for the majority of the weekend, but I still racked up quite a lot of hours in it, and here I'm doing a bit of, um, objective, objective work, so, basically, yeah, I, I, I you, you need to be using your, your, your special ability as much as you can, obviously, I mean, like, um, you've got Stim, which gives you faster movement, and then you've got, uh, another one which you could have chose in the beta, which was, um, called, it's like the invisibility one, I can't really remember what it's called, it's probably called Cloak or some shit, and here's, I'm doing a bit more parkour work here, looking to, look to try and jump onto this, this time, and then rodeo him, but it's a bit of a fail there <laughs> with that one, but, uh, I got a, I got a pretty nice one, I, I think in a couple of gameplays that you'll see, um, when I release them later during this, this week, and I kill a... I, I, it's sort of confusing to me at the moment where I, I, I sort of don't know whether I'm, I'm sh gonna be shooting a, a pilot or a... or like a bot, because obviously you guys have played, there's there's bots here, and I'm about to get on my Titan here, which is pretty cool, so a bit of Titan gameplay here, but basically if you didn't know, you, there's bots around the um, 
the map as well as like obviously your players like you or me or whatever but basically they, they, they're, they're shit, they don't, they, they pretty much don't kill you. The only way you're gonna die from it is if you're like completely one shot, you've been in, in like some gun battle and then they, they just get like a, like a lucky like one shot kill on you, but they, they, they're not overpowered, so I see a lot of people being like, oh, there's bots in the game, but like, like who cares, they're not overpowered, they're just there to give you something to shoot at, especially if you're a new player and stuff, you just get to use, getting used to the game, and um, yeah, they're just, they're just there, they're really shit, but it's confusing because sometimes you don't really know whether you're shooting a pilot or a, or a, or a bot, and it's sort of like, you'll be shooting a bot, but then there'll be a pilot behind you, and here I get like a sick, like, I don't know how these guys didn't die to be honest, because look how many, look how many times, like, look at that, look at that, like, reflect I just got, like, that was a fuckload of, like, bullets and shit, and like, I don't, I, I killed him, I sort of like, if I'm, if I'm in the critical stage of a Titan, I sort of like to, try and finish off the other Titan before I'll eject, so I don't want to, like, give him the win, so if I'm doomed, I'll pretty much stay in it until I doom my enemy, the enemy I'm against, um, if he dooms me first before I eject, and then I'll, um, continue on, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, back to the, um, back to the pilot, pilots and, and grunts sort of thing, so it's hard to sort of tell what's, what's, um, who's who, and you'll be shooting, like, grunts and shit, and there'll be a, uh, a pilot behind him, and you'll be like, oh, fuck, I'm shooting the wrong person, and then the pilot will obviously, uh, shoot you, and you'll be like, fuck, why the fuck didn't I just aim for the pilot first, so, that's, like, obviously just something you're gonna get used to the more you play Titanfall, so, um, here I'm going for a more objective, objective play as well, this guy, like, I was gonna go for a jump kick on this guy, like, a jump, like, sort of melee thing, but then he, like, turned around, and I was like, fuck, I'm on a Southeast Asia server as well, lag's probably not gonna be in my favour on this one, so I just shot him, which is whatever, and here I'm, like, blind as fuck, get my kick finally off on this, uh, on that little Spectre bot, and this guy owns me, jumps out of his Titanfall, uh, into the window, he knows what's going on, that's how, that's a good way to play the game, you know, you just gotta, you, like, you've gotta, you got to use your titans and your um and your your pilots to your advantage. Like you can't just play this game like it's Call of Duty. Like you can if you if you just run around your pilot, it, you can actually play it like Call of Duty. But the whole game is Titanfall, so I mean like you want to be using your titans as well. Not only because it's part of the game. And I get a sick little like war run here where I'm just like, right, just like I'm calling my titan here, and then I'm I'm just like boop, jump off, and then war run along here, and then jump into my titan. And it's like come here, bitch. And I get into my Titan, and that, that felt pretty cool. Doing shit like that is really cool as well. Like, it just feels so fun when you do that sort of shit. And I mean, like, you've got to use both your Titans and, um, your pilots. Like, running around free running is really fun. This game is, is, is so much fun from that point of view that the movement, is, the movement and the wall running and the parkour just, like, makes this game insanely fun. It's got that real, like, fun factor. And I do plan to, uh, play the shit out of this game where, um, to become like insanely good at it because uh, uh, after playing the beta for only a couple of days I was like seriously addicted to this game already <laughs> and I like as soon as the beta ended I was actually pretty like cut that I and I just really wanted to play it again um, and again so I'm like pretty much already addicted to this game after playing it for only a couple of um, a couple of days and it's just because the fun fact is there and it's like I it, want you guys play it if you haven't already and if you haven't got an Xbox One I actually um this guy didn't fucking die yet, and then I get owned with his, uh, nuclear ejection. That's, like, a little ability that every Titan's got. Like, you can choose to put on your nuclear explosion, which will, um, you know, explode. Like, you, you have a massive radius explosion after you get doomed, and that'll kill everything within its radius. So that's what happened to me there. I got fucking owned by that shit. But, um, yeah, this is the epilogue now. And as I was saying... Here you go, they got, I own some guys trying to do the same thing as me, parkour running on the walls, this guy just gets fucking raped. There we go, raped, and then, this is the epilogue, so this is the end of the game sort of thing, so, when, pretty much when you, um, when the game finishes, one team wins, one team loses, I lost here, I was trying to bring it back, but you know, bad teammates equal, uh, bad games, you know. So I can't really control your teammates, this game, like, if you've got, until you get to the point where you can carry your team, like, heaps badly and become a god at this game, like I plan to do, um, it's pretty much going to be like, if, if you're versing a team full of people who know what they're doing, then you're going to get raped if you're on a team with people who don't know what they're doing, which happens in this situation here. I tried to bring it back with a bit of objective gameplay, but it didn't seem to uh, help out too much, which is a bit gay. And look at the, look at these, look at these scores, like, alive, alive Jeff, like, 
he's on two pilot kills. I don't know whether he's going to town in his uh, Titan, but like, I don't know how he he's even ab above me on the leaderboards to be honest. Because look at like, I'm, I'm clearly I've like doubled, pretty much doubled his uh his assault score and got way more kills than him. And look at his like deaths and shit. He's above me for some reason. So I don't know how that worked. His defense is up pretty high. So I don't know what he was doing, but um obviously got some defensive points there, which uh worked out in his favor and helped contribute to the team a little bit, I guess. But from my point of view, I think I play better than him. Look at that. So I don't know. Um, yeah, got, got team team. Uh, my team like pretty much sucked. So that's pretty much why we lost. So anyway, if you haven't got an Xbox One and you really want to play this game, I highly suggest you get it because from the look at this game, it looks amazing and it's going to be extremely fun. And I cannot wait until the full version comes out. So, um, as always, guys, this has been Prana Pragel. More Titan 4 gameplay commentaries like this one coming out over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, to keep you guys sorted for until the release of Titan 4. And as always, guys, this has been Prana Pragel. I'll see you guys on the next one.